Well folks, we are on the road, headed for camping. Got the A-liner behind me, if you can see that in the back window there. Maybe you're not tall enough. But anyways, um, as we usually do, <clears throat> we get out pretty early. It's uh, We left about 7.30. And we've gotten a ways and it's uh, about 8.30, eh, it's 9 o'clock at uh, McDonald's. We stop. We usually stop along the way for breakfast, and one of the, one of the fun things on a weekend, it's Saturday, is you get the uh, the the older seniors at McDonald's, and uh, they're a lot of fun to talk to. Um, we were talking about how the campground I went to, they just released twenty five thousand rattlesnakes to try to help restore rattlesnakes in the area. <laughs> Not sure I can believe that. They were talking about the uh, boa constrictors down in uh, pythons down in Florida and how they're eating children and alligators and wrecking havoc, which is that's kind of true, but they're not eating children. <laughs> they were talking about, um, they were asking me if I am going to the Merle Fest, which is uh, kind of like a big Woodstock down here for country music. It, it's Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. So it's four days, and it's got a ton of artists. The Steep Canyon Rangers, uh, Chris Christofferson, uh, Jamie Johnson. Uh, huge, huge four days of, of nonstop music. It's, it's, it's country music Woodstock. There's always something going on down here in the hills, especially in this, this time of year. It's April, what is it, April 28th? And uh, there's always stuff in the mountains, that uh, festivals and things going on. It's just an amazing place to visit. So come on down. A half a second, we'll change everything here, and it'll be camping. Just wait. We're going to the Hutchings Hutchinson Homestead. We've got Caesar in his harness today because he tends to fall down on the hills. If he's got his tail wagging too hard, it knocks him over. <laughs> this road to the Hutchinson Homestead appears to be quite, quite long. This is a long trail to walk with the boys, but it just keeps going on, so we'll follow it. Well, the back harness and strap doesn't didn't work very well. That was a flea, or fly, that was bothering his face. He was trying to knock it off, and he can't hold up on one leg. <laughs> For those new to my channel, no, Caesar does not have hip dysplasia. He had a stroke, and like any stroke survivor, he's not all together for all the uses of all his neurons, so his uh, communication between his brain and his front end is not always good and the worst part is when he wags his tail a lot when he's really happy <laughs> he knocks himself over which is somewhat sad and somewhat funny so look at the mountains give up water really nicely and they leave beautiful clear pools you know if I was thirsty I'd drink from that <laughs> it's a little Looks a little precarious for the boys to get into. But these, the, it's the best part of mountains. And what I love about mountains, as opposed to the, the beaches, is that, uh, you know, there's so much water. So many little nicks and crannies and things. And I don't know why there's a toilet right here. We must be at the, uh, we must be at the homestead the Hutchington homestead and there's probably gonna be a ranger up here so we'll have to put the boys on leash and there may be other people up here yeah there are other people so we're gonna put them on leash and we'll come back when we get something to show you and they have parking here I don't know if that means you can actually drive up here and park they have I mean these aren't designated handicaps up here is handicaps.
you got nice joints there. Dovetail joints to keep things from moving. Real shutters. Got a place where the mice can get out or get in, <laughs> whichever. There's the garden with sharpened poles to keep the deer out, I imagine. So the people in their Sunday best. Here's the barn. Obviously there are things that live under this barn. <laughs> I don't know if the original barn was made with dry with uh, decking screws. <laughs> I kind of doubt it. I wonder what they thought when they took this piece of property over to to grow. Another corn crib. Where they threw the corn in. And they threw whole ears in there. If you're wondering why the corn didn't spill out, it's because it was whole ears. It wasn't uh, wasn't shucked corn. <laughs> Okay, so this is the mountain from the Hutchinson Homestead Field. You got real nice benches out here to sit on and watch it. This is one big mountain. I was talking to a scout leader down there about how they brought this here. <laughs> he says he keeps the scouts in a total confusion all the time. There's some climbers up there. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. Has every mountain in North Carolina that but there are trails to the top. If I zoom in to the trees at the top, you can see them blowing up there. So we're going to avoid the top today, try to get our camping site set up. It's my scoutmaster down there that I was talking to. They put the bench in the wrong spot with the sh for the shade. <laughs> and there's the farm. And this was all their fields for tilling and growing corn. They must have spent a good time clearing it and building the house. We're going to take the trail down instead of the road. I think the road was a little easier, faster, but um, I probably should have bought the bro brought the boys on the trail because it looks like it probably would have been easier on, on their feet because it's sand and rock. We came here before and uh, when we were here in February and I wouldn't let the boys go in, so now it's a little different. It's a little warmer, it's a little nicer. Still, it's a beautiful place. So we are back at the visitor center. We got the boys sitting in the car behind me. Um, the car is running with the air conditioner on and the car is locked. We do that quite frequently, in fact. In fact, if I was here without electricity, that's what I'd do, I'd leave them in the car with the air conditioning running. Oh, my sister used to have one of those. I used to have one of these. 
insect collection. We had to do one for school to graduate. Please be careful. I do not believe all of these bugs came from here. <laughs> There's a little gift shop, hats and shirts and field guides, some stuff here about moonshining, if you need to know about moonshining, and race car drivers that used to be moonshiners. <laughs> so a little bit about mountain music, which is pretty hot this weekend because of the Merrill Fest. Well. The boys have had dinner, and I'm not really ready, so we're going to take a little hike. Um, and Dakota and I are going to go up this little area here and check out the forest. There seems to be a lot of deer tracks. This is the wrong side for the mountain, but maybe we can see something of the mountain over here. Now here's a tree that just looks like... <laughs> I don't know what you would call that. Looks like it's got um, clam shells all over it. Mussels. Well, we found a skeleton. Looks to be a fawn. Looks to be maybe a three year old. It's got all the front teeth. That would be more than six months. It's got all the back teeth. These look pretty sharp. So that would be maybe a year and a half, maybe two. We saw this from down below and I thought it was like a house. <laughs> Just kind of has that house shape. But then when you get closer, you, you realize it's a blown down tree. Here's a, another angle of those trees falling down. And here's the boy, he's tired. <laughs> he's old. He hangs in there pretty good though. He just takes a rest when he needs to. He doesn't care. He knows where I am. He knows how to get find me. Got a good nose. Now you see these in the woods a lot. <laughs> At least I do. This is uh, like a Boy Scout lean to emergency shelter where they just take a lot of sticks and lean it up against one pole and then cover it with leaves or branches or something. But this one's a little old and it's fallen down. So Now, Dakota is the finder of all strange things. Uh, and this is what he's found this time. This is a, I don't know what you'd call it, maybe a teepee? Let's get around this tree first. It's a, a teepee. <laughs> Not sure it's doing that rhododendron any any good, but it was a lot of work for some kids. Because <laughs> I'm sure no adult did that. Here's something I found out when I first got here at the site. Ouch. This electrical box has this junction box below it. So when I plug in my surge guard, it won't stay. It's hitting the box and it pulls the plug out of the thing. So what I have to do, I can't do it this way, it's bending the cord too much. So what I do is I take my dog bone for 50 amps and I plug that, plug that in and then plug the surge guard into it, which works just fine. So consider that if you don't have one of these uh, 50 amp dog bones to 30 amp, you might consider it because it's useful for something like this.
I know when I have these in my yard, I kill them <laughs> as weeds, but they're very pretty out here in the forest. And they're just, they're just covered in bees. <laughs>